All right, this is Ham Solo, Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. It is winter field day, and I am on location now at our site. So let's uh, take a gander of what it looks like. So this is uh, Mountain Amateur Radio Club in Colorado. And uh, we are setting up uh, right where we set up last year. We had tried to get another place, but uh, they didn't uh, come back and play ball with us. And so uh, now we basically have uh, this set up here and uh, it already is starting out pretty good. Looks like uh, Derek Kilo Zero Alpha Tango Victor is already on location. He's got the ice tent set up. And so we're gonna get this thing going. All right, let's try to show you the first part of what we have set up. So I have a DMR, and I have a DMR hotspot right here, and an internet hotspot right here, and that's running off that 12 amp hour battery. IC705 has the internal battery, and it's hooked to the 12 amp hour battery. Um we got the AH705 tuner here in the tent flap. And I'm hooked up to the pack tenna. Uh, 29 to 1. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> 9 to 1. Un -un. It's a 29 foot wire. So, turn it on, test it out. And I got a uh, parks on the air in Idaho. And so, getting out 5 watts. And so... I was just trying to get a contact on uh, 15 meters to see if that uh, works. It's tuned up. Had the hammer zap running. And uh, I was chasing Park, so I had a different log book. But I uh, got a winter field day log set up, ready to go. I plan on running it here with that uh, uh, software. Uh, and I forgot the name of it, N3F, F or N7FJP or something. I'll look it up. Uh, another power supply here, battery operated. And then we got a 991A here. So if we want to do 100 watts, you know, we can get out obviously with 100 watts. So we're trying to get the, uh, the qualifiers or bonus or whatever for QRP uh, option to do DMR. I actually have a, that new Baofeng 5RM with the 42 inch of Brie antenna and uh, got 220 on here. I uh, haven't plugged in the uh, laptop yet, so it's still waiting for the solar charger to charge an inverter, uh, battery operated inverter. And then that way uh, we can try to get that software and maybe WinLink running. You know, it's supposed to be able to go, can I do multiple modes, uh, multiple different uh, frequencies um, using everything that can be taken out to the field. And so we're sitting here inside of an ice fishing tent. Uh, we do have a little heater supply plumbed into the bottom. We don't have it on right now in the middle of the day. It's already 40 degrees, pretty warm. And so uh, let's see if we can go outside and look at some of the antenna setups. And uh, see what we got uh, going on there. All right, so we got wire coming out here, and that is going up here to my pack tenna. It's only about 12 feet off the ground, slopes kind of east to west to a tree. Got a uh, tri band sitting here on a one by one. Uh, steel sheet if we're going to do any uh, 2 meter or uh, 440 or can hook it up to D-Star some solar panels and uh, some of the cabling running underneath diesel generator that's going to be for the heat and then they're charging the battery inside that box to hopefully run the computer with that inverter. And then I got a solar panel, it's not hooked up to anything yet. 
and then over here this is a 10 meter J pole and it runs up in the tree upwards of I guess about 25 ish 30 feet up and then he's got two verticals and I think the far one here is a uh, buddy stick vertical and he's converted into almost like a buddy pole and it's got a it looks like a tap coil on the bottom radials coming out this looks like a kind of looks like an ATOS tuner I'm not sure what that one's for yet It's a manual ATOS. We think the number is 25. And we've got that set up for 40 meters. So everything's good. Got uh, coffee on the hood. I think we're ready to go. There's a dog. Always got to have a dog. All right. CQ Winter Field Day. CQ Winter Field Day. This is November X Ray Zero Golf Winter Field Day. Winter Field Day, CQ Winter Field Day. This is November X Ray Zero Golf Winter Field Day. All right, just started calling out. It is uh, 12:04 or 19:04 for the time, so UTS, UTC, and uh, calling out. Have it on the broadcast out, running five watts on the IC705. Calling as our club call sign for Mountain Amateur Radio Club, November X-Ray Zero Golf. Yeah, the logging software is N3FJP. N3FJP. So without uh, boring you to death, we're exactly uh, one hour into the contest at this point. And we have about uh, 17 contacts. The bands were just completely stuffed full. And so we decided to switch over to uh, 10 meters operating on uh, 28 megahertz. November X ray zero golf. November X ray again. November X ray zero golf. Okay, NX or zero golf or continue 59. QSL, got you 5959 here and one Oscar, Charlie Oscar. QSL? Okay, my friend, the tank over 4, taking certain contact, 7, 3, visit, send, visit, thank you. Easy. Quickly, the Oscar, 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 Zero, 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 QSL. All right, so it's about 6.50 p.m. And uh, we actually had to uh, start tearing down because the heater went out. And so the diesel heater uh, that we had quasi blown in the bottom here uh, turned off. And so it is pretty cold <laughs> and so i don't think we can i don't think we could hack it uh without uh, some form of heat uh out here so i think we're gonna try to pack the radios up and stuff maybe come get you know the rest of it in the morning sometime so we'll see what happens well sorry about that everybody that ended up being the kind of like the end of the video uh went back out there the next day uh, grabbed the uh, last two antennas in the tent and packed that away. Uh, all in all, we ended up with about 53 or so contacts before the heater went out. And uh, as you saw as, as I was driving home, uh, it got in single digits, like almost as soon as I drove off the property. I'm sure it was the same there. And uh, so it would have been just crazy unbearable without any heat uh, trying to sit in that in that tent uh, with the you know single digit uh, temperatures all around us. There was no other heat. And so, uh, kind of ended there. Uh, we did get 
you know, a good distribution of uh, contacts, including down in South America. And then we got one pretty far north uh, of, uh, you know, Canada, right up there towards the top. And so I'll kind of put that map in here so you can see it. Uh, but other than that, that was winter field day for the Mountain Amateur Radio Club. And uh, appreciate y'all watching. This is Ham Solo, K0FYR73.